My stream ripped right as I was going to declare war. It's not back. I don't know if it's back already. Yet yeah, my internet died. Whoops. I have very unstable internet, which is unfortunate. It's not bad internet, it's just unstable internet, which is very unfortunate. Alright, just as I declared war, too. Or I was about to declare war. I was literally about to click the button. And it was like, nope, disconnect. Alright, now then. Let's declare war. Bam! Okay. Um. Let's just head right for the capital. I'm just gonna wreck him. Let's do it. Okay. Look at that. They're about to get stomped. Oh shit, I didn't get there in time. Oh, he saved him, okay, good. See, the province is so small, I didn't realize I wasn't even on the right province. All right, let's stomp this army, where is it heading to? Probably here. No, it's heading up here. Yep. Did you take that yet? No. Uh, where, oh, okay, we stomped the army. Uh, where is my 40? You, that, you. Can't cancel it now? You're just stuck. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll get more. dealing with it. Good. They outnumber us quite a bit, but we're fine. Are you- oh, I was about to say you in peace? No, it's just- it's just friends. It's just friends. Oh my god. Let's help out. Should I try and Voltaire's mod? I think I pronounced it right. Is it Voltaire? I think. Alright, my favorite EU4 mod plays whole time to go to most Empire. I've seen a lot about that mod, but I actually don't know what it does. What what does it do? Because like I never actually played it, but I've seen that mod listed like a lot of places. And they haven't had a chance to actually look at it. Start coring the actually no. I'm not going to core those yet. I'm going to save my admin power for when I actually need to core something that's, uh, what is it called? Overextension. As soon as we're done here, I'm just going to go right on Bunker Hill and kill them, because fuck them. Dicks. Okay, Gunner's Plaza's done. This colony's done. On. Okay, 100%. Okay, wait, no. Uh, good neighbor. This goes to Diamond City. The Old North Church. This goes to Diamond City. And Bunker Hill. This goes to Diamond City. Let me get those first. So, Old North Church, Good Neighbor, Bunker Hill. Is that all I can get? Damn it. Well, Bunker City, or Diamond City, look at that. You got some nice stuff. I hope you're happy. But it's okay, they're really good allies. So, let's head north. 
expands the Holy Roman Emperor to a massive size with about 600 700 provinces. I think 110 to 115 countries with some non empire countries mixed in, like France. Overall, an amazing mod. So, it, it kind of does like what this does to like certain areas. Like how here was a bunch of provinces where in the vanilla game it's like one big one. Or like in the Mesa America Universalis mod where it takes Central America and turns into tons of them, or Shattered, Shattered Europa where it adds tons of provinces. That's really cool. I might have to try that out. Let's get admin power. I do like mods that add just tons of provinces everywhere. It's pretty cool to see. Go. I have speed. Get up there. Okay. Excuse me. Hi. Remember us? You know, the people you were, like, helping for a while? And then you took provinces that you shouldn't have taken? Yep. How you doing? We're back. That's a cute army you got there. Pretty good general, too. I'm surprised he's still alive. He's been alive for quite a while. Not really anymore. Hey, crap. Did I... Whoa, I was joking, not really anymore. I just wiped the army. <laughs> Oops. S sorry? <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually wasn't expecting to wipe him, but okay. I'm not complaining about that one. There we go. Focuses on everything Empire, like more events, adds some more admin ranks, like Margrave. Margrave Country? County. Tedra adds a whole lot more. They need to be an overhaul of the game. Wow, it adds, like, events? Oh, that's cool. I might have to check that out, then. What I'm probably gonna do is... See, since I haven't played CK2 ever, I'm probably gonna do my first playthrough of it tonight, or start my first playthrough of it, like, just on my own. So maybe I'll watch, like, a Let's Play of, uh... The Vault Hire's Nightmare. Because I do... Because that sounds really cool, actually. And I am looking for really good EU4 mods. Because, like, so there are two things I love in EU4. The modding and the achievements. I don't know why I like the achievements. I don't... It, it gives me something to do. Like, I do a lot of vanilla runs with Iron Man mode allowed. Because it's fun. I don't know. I like getting the achievements. Makes me feel like I did something cool. Plus, it gives you, like, an objective. Because, like, a lot of times in EU4, you're just like, what do I want to play next? It's like, well, how about you do the Cherokee, and then you kill the 13 colonies? It's like, oh, okay, if you insist, that sounds like a good plan. Which I have attempted before, and I fucking lost because I'm an idiot, and when I was westernizing, I took Catholicism, and I caused so much rebellion that I fucking completely destroyed my own country. Note to self... If you're the Cherokee, do not ever take Catholicism. Ever. It's just not good. Especially when you're westernizing. It doesn't work out. That would be a good mod to play a playthrough on. I love to play it. Many friends play it. And live for Controls of the Empire. Or try to push out four invaders. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And plus, more things for me to actually play on stream and do YouTube videos of. But it's fun too. So I, I just like ta I just Europa every, all Europa all day every day. That's just it. I'm addicted to Europa, which is really weird because normally with games I get bored of them after a while. Like uh, like Fallout 4, I got bored of quite quickly after like f 100 hours. But Europa, I've been playing for like a few weeks now, and I'm like I, I got to a Europa kick or paradox kick, and then if I ever get a little bored of Europa, I'm like okay, let's play Hoi 4. Let's play Stellaris. Let's play other Paradox games. Let's play City Skyline. I'm trying to maintain the, uh, the strategy kick so I can keep playing Europa because I love Europa. And I'm determined to put more hours into it because I hate my life and I want to spend it all here. Give me everything. Yes! Fuck you, Bunker Hill. Go fuck yourself. Later. Sweet. Fuck you, Bunker Hill. I hate you so much. That's what you get. Yes, yeah, deserves it. Wow, no overextension at all. Really? Okay. Wait, no, I'll do this one. Cool. All right, that's done. Bunker Hill is no more. Now we can put all of our armies. Well, we still have to worry about the institute, but they're almost dead. And look how strong we made Diamond City. Like, damn, what's their their count now? Forsum is twelve, but they have. Wait, what? Oh, this is Navy. I was like, what? 
Force limit is 22. Okay, good. But they have 26,000. They're over their force limit. I bet you it's because they're making so much money they don't care. Income 10. Yep, that's what it is. They're making so much money they don't really care. They're just like, yeah, fuck it. Lots of men. Probably have mercenaries too. And look at the Institute. Split up like crazy. Kicked them out of their own lands. Hell yeah. Also, wow, they actually successfully got the Cambridge Crater. That's pretty funny. Uh-oh! <gasps> no, I didn't think this would happen. Because it was so far away. Oh, shit! <laughs> Good thing I'm allied with some really big people. Okay, it's only three people. That's not bad. These guys are... <gasps> Not New Vegas, they're so strong! Oh god! Oh no! <laughs> well, the War of Wars is about to happen. New Vegas is, I think, one of the strongest in the game. Which is funny, we're stronger than them, but... They're up there. I mean, look at their income. 123? What? What the f fuck is that? What's their military? 117,000? And they're my tech level. Yeah, now we have some problems. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 people in a coalition against us. Okay, let's see what the map mode looks like at least. This is not diplomatic. This is. Oh. Wait, what? Why is it not showing them in the coalition? Oh. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's fine. I better direct some forces in that direction. There's nowhere for me to hold this army, though. It's so big. Hey, this is gonna hold 21. Carbon. Fuck you, Carbon. I don't like you anyway. I'll kill you. Carver's a little bitch. Where are you? Give me you. Uh, let's go here. Wait, no, what? I'm gonna go here. What? Oh, supply was 23. Okay, I'll split up up there. I just ran the airfields with bombers. You have to fly out a bomber. Oh! Reward check. That's good. I don't think I need this many armies over here. I'll probably bring, like, one back. Yeah, I'll bring this 19 stack over here, too, because I'm going to need to be ready for a war. I should be able to just keep two armies over here and deal with anything that comes my way, like the Institute. I keep forgetting to take this province, too. I probably could have taken them, because this is, like, no development. You know? I, I keep forgetting to take it, but whatever. I'm usually an attacker because I don't have a bomber. Well, then you just... There are some attackers that can get bombs, but... You just have to tech up until you can get a bomber, then. There's a few biplanes that carry bombs to you, depending on what country you are. Twenty-five, forty-four. I'm gonna keep pushing my luck. Like, as soon as I can, I'm just gonna go ahead and capture the Institute. I don't care about the Coalition. I'm gonna try and force it, because I want to beat them. Not because I want to fight them, because I feel like it, it's not a threat to me. I have so many f allies that are teched up with me, I don't think they could do anything that would really hurt me. So, I'm fine with the coalition. Need more of that manpower, though. That sexy, sexy manpower, baby. Look at that manpower cap. Oh. Russian biplanes can't have bombs. I'm using a BB-1. BB-1s have bombs. You just have to level up so you can get a bomber. Or, like, a bomb on the bomber. But BB-1s can have bombs. For sure. Because it's a bomber. <laughs> Two... Also, how many troops can I- oh my god. Let's go 
ahead and do that, shall we? Wait, what did I click the second one? Was that Cav? I think it was Cav. That's what I wanted. Oh, I clicked Vertebrate. Yeah, okay, good. That's what I wanted. And then I'm gonna get Howitzers here. There we go! Tons of units! Fuck with me now, guys! Gonna cost a row of armies. Yep. We are twelve years ahead of time. So we can start getting quantity again and then get the land force multiplier by plus fifty percent and get like stupid amounts of units. Like yes, please. Like, please declare war on me. Please do. Maybe I should ally with these guys since they're always getting their ass. No. Plus, they hate me. You really shouldn't hate me because I'm probably your best bet. Everybody else hates you. Oh, look at that money, though. What am I making from taxes? Oh my god, look at all that. Mm. Delicious. Oh my god, let's just take a thou- well, I mean, when you look at my total treasury, not surprising. See, that's the thing, if I ever did, like, get problematic, like, get fucked, I, I would just get mercs until, you know, the end of time. But... It's still a challenge. As I had, I was able to get mercs at the end of the time when I first fought the Institute, and I still lost over and over again. Until I, you know, built forts into their land and then beat the shit out of them that way. Why is my phone constantly going off? Who is messing? Oh my god, 20 man. Oh my god. What is this? God, my phone's constantly going off, man. Group chats. Look at all these things that just keep spawning out. Uh, are we actually losing authority right now? No. Why are you still getting really... Ah, it's only 15 there? God damn it. How do we increase supply power? Or supply, uh, limit? Can we do that with development? I would imagine we can. I don't... Maybe not? I feel like if you improve production, it would increase supply limit. But maybe not. I don't know. Or maybe it's just development in general. Yeah, it's development in general. Gotcha. Okay. That's good to know. Also, Mexico City and Cold Water are now fighting. Because, yeah. Of course they are. The Legion has pretty much wiped out all of the NCE along with the Shi and all them. Also, seriously, even this Issaquah nation is beating them. Like, come on. Dude, the, the New California Republic is wrecked, or Empire. These guys are terrible. Got their asses kicked over and over. Oh, and looks like there's some infighting. So, Vault City used to be allied with, the, with Prim and stuff, but I guess Prim is... Yeah, Prim's with New Reno and the Issaquahs, and they are, they're against New Vegas and the rest of them now. So I can actually get Prim on my side, but that's probably not a good idea, because, well, the other ones are scary, and I don't want a bigger chance of a war when I'm not ready for a war. Is there any good colonies I can just grab real quick? I guess I can get this. This is a nine. Yeah, I'll start heading there. Go ahead and get the rest of the coast. This one done yet? Almost. Oh, it's pre-war tech. Yeah, that's right. Nancy Coke. Sweet. Oh, looks like they almost have all of Florida. I definitely want Miami. Just because it's kind of cool to have. So I'm probably going to go ahead and 
Go to war with Mexico City again, take Miami. What's Mexico City even like down here? Eh, 51. whole new army and we can still get more damn oh yeah and these dudes oh crap I selected well no that's why I didn't select them off all once good is it is it called the one that starts way up northwest have they been super strong so I haven't on the stream till today um I don't even know I actually haven't paid attention to them but yeah they're the ones that start northwest Let's see. I haven't actually paid attention to this quad myself. Whoa. They're actually way stronger than I thought. They're at 26k. It's not that good, but it's way better than I was expecting. They have decent development. I think this is all their land, too. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Yeah, no. Claims. No, it wasn't their land. Yeah, this is all their original land, I believe. Unless they, they lost this land a long time ago and their core ran out, but... Yeah, they're actually pretty strong now. They're beating the NCE, which is weird. It's really weird still calling in the NCE. I don't know. Every time I say that, I'm like, wait, what? And these guys still came out of nowhere. Can't believe that. I think New Vegas or Prim released them from the NCR, and now they're alive. I still got to fight my way into New Vegas and rescue the Brotherhood of Steel, who are completely gone now, right? Yeah. I think the core is completely gone there now, if I look. Let me see. Um, where is it? Hidden Valley. Yeah, the core- oh no, the core's still there! But it's gonna- it's gonna be gone in three years, so. It's pretty cool since I started watching it, that's where I'm from. They start as a one, pro one, one province tribal nation- wait, really? Oh! Yeah, see, I haven't really paid attention too much to them. Just say like, Baja, I haven't paid too much attention to, which I think was also like a one province tribal. I mean, I didn't think I was going to pay attention to Mexico City either, and then this happened. And same thing with, well, Gravestone died pretty fast, but like, what the fuck is this? Like, goddamn Montana chapter, what are you doing? I'm glad you're on my side, but what the hell? Also, really? We're going to do this now. There we go. Alright, let's send you to protect trade in New England. Oh, are you done? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't even start this one yet. Damn it. Sorry to begin as the Institute, they should rise to be all powerful. Let me know what the Institute tech's like, because I feel like the Institute tech is really good. I know they have, um... Oh, what's this? Oh, this this event. I know they have no di like, they have no penalty at all. They have a 100% standard cost, but I don't know what their units are like. Their units seem really strong compared to mine. Like, I don't know, maybe their units have different pips than mine? Because, I mean, well, these are level 20 units, but I don't remember what my level 10s were, but they were kicking the shit out of me over and over again, like, consistently kicking the shit out of me. And I was bigger than them, and double their size manpower-wise. It was crazy. And land force-wise. And I was losing pretty... extensively. Um... What's up, Call the Week? Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I think there's two groups in the entire mod that are Western tech, quote unquote. I think they are the Commonwealth and then Technological. I think those are the only two ones that can be Western. Or are Western with 100%. Really? Fucking... Seriously? Really, guys? Come on. Come on. 
synth gen 3 or 4 pips and everything. What's my gen? What's my gen 3? Ah, I'm forgetting. Oh, yes, they actually are better than me. If we're if it's like consistent throughout their entire tree, then they are actually better than me. Which it looks like it is consistent throughout the whole tree. So that makes sense. I guess that makes sense why they're kicking the shit out of me back then. It was consistent through the whole thing. Let's head down here. That's pretty cool, though. I'm glad I know that now, why they beat me so hard. Well, then it feels like World Tanks again. They're teams for a reason. I mean, if you play... Let me tell you something, Fractal. If you're playing arcade mode, then it's gonna be a fucking shit show. You should play Realistic. Realistic's more fun. It's not first person only, that's simulator. Realistic's really fun though. Like, low tier realistic is like the best. Cause like high tier realistic's a little bit ridiculous. But low tier realistic with like biplanes and shit, that's fun. That's where it's at. My truces are over. I still have claims on something, is it you? Ooh. Good neighbor? Oh, damn it, I don't want, I don't want to have claims on that. I can just go to war with them when we need help. I'll have these guys. Oh, you are playing realistic. Oh, well, never mind, Fractal. <laughs> Their RD best is 5 pips and fire for defense and offense, and 4 in shock and morale. Oh my god. I don't actually know my best one. Wait, can I see my best one? Yeah, I can. Oh. Oh, so... Oh, yeah, okay, so mine's about... Mine are the same, then. We have the same howitzers. But they're they're... Just their normal unit is better than mine. So they have vertebrates and they have the same howitzers as mine, but their normal unit, that's better than mine. So that's why they're beating me consistently. Get ready to beat them. Get a bigger military coalition against us. I don't think they're in the coalition. Better check that before I go to war. They are! Okay, well, so if I declare war... Wait, no, I clicked the wrong people. Never mind. No, they're not. I clicked the wrong people. We're good. We're good. Okay, yeah, so their arties is the same, their vertebrae is the same, but their their infantry is they're better. It's good. I'm glad it's not the same with everybody, like with all the tech groups, that's cool. Then the Enclave had the best infantry in the game, which is funny how the Enclave got destroyed by a Midwestern chapter. In my game, at least. Like, they were pretty, it wasn't like a, like a one side, or it wasn't like an equal matchup, it was just one sided, they just got wiped out. All right, where is our six six six? Come on, go a little faster. Speed five it. There's uh, did he just join the coalition or leave it? He left it. Plasma engineers, leader siege ability plus one. Wow, that's really good. Uh, okay, they're leaving the coalition. They're about to rejoin it, but they're leaving it for now. Damn it, a military leader died. I don't know which one it was. I'll get another one for you. Whoa, that was a good maneuver. I lost my Wastelander. Oh yeah, I forgot. I should have someone over here. Let's just divide that up and go there. Okay, we need to clear now. Fabricate on... What's their current capital? Is this Gunner's Plaza? All right, Institute. Nice knowing you. Attempt to. There you go. Armies have wiped. Oh, this song. I like this song. Wait, can I see it from here normally? Oh, there it is. Ride forth victoriously! Hell yeah. Move you.
Well, that was easy. Oh, sure, I'll get some military tech. See you, which, what was yours? Oh, lower. It was the same, I mean, so that's good. Go ahead and protect that, we don't need you out here anymore. So, Diplo tech. What do I get here? Factory. Whoa! Production efficiency all across the land and goods modifier. Dude, that's so much money. Oh my god. Alright, it's five speed to win. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Oh, they're leaving the military coalition. They're gonna rejoin that so fast, it's unbelievable. <laughs> okay. Do I want to give anything to... Yeah, I think I do, actually. I think I want to... Well, can I take... I still can't take everything. Oh my god, I hate this. But Paradox, why can I still click on these units in this screen? Like, really? I honestly think I'm going to give them the Boston Airport. I'm okay with that. There you go. All your money? No, I didn't think so. Some of your money? Two? Really? That's it? No, 100. Thank you. All right. How much aggress- Oh, look at that aggressive expansion. That is going to be a lot of coalitions. Wait for it. I'm I'm ready. I want to see the coalitions that pop up from this one. Holy crap! That expressive expansion or that overextension. I want to see this. This is getting ridiculous. And two are so good at tech. Western tech plus I reduce tech cost by five percent. Oh my god! Let's just see if I can't grab all of these as they come up. Honestly, this isn't that many. So this is okay. This isn't that many. So we're okay. Also, damn it, I forgot to try and take this stupid thing again. I keep forgetting. So that's five. Also, my Diplo. <laughs> Rip. Let's speed up, see if anyone else joins it. Also, why am I still building against you? I don't need to. We're a truce for a while. Military leader died. That's okay. They're all old anyway. Uh oh. Oh, stop. What more loyalty? Let me just go ahead and grab my hundred of everything and increase patrols and incentivize research. Where is this? 13 stack? Okay. You're gonna get fucked by the entire US. It's okay. We have tons of friends. I'm kind of egging them on because I'm I, I definitely sure I can take everybody. Like I'm hundred percent sure I can take them. That's why I want them to fight me. Because like it, that gives me an excuse to take something from them. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Well <laughs> Yeah. Sure. This is more of the NCE that's getting ripped apart by slag. They're about to just completely be gone. Like, these guys are about to be off the map. Look how many people hate them. Like, what the fuck? Everyone hates them. Everyone who's close to them hates them. That's so funny. You know what? I bet they took the, uh, the thing that... It, so... So for the Brotherhood of Steel, there's a directive you can take at the beginning of the game. It's called the Fascist Directive, which makes you really good at military, but makes everybody dislike you. Like, you get minus 15% uh, rep relations. I bet you they did the fascist thing. That's why they're a new Californian empire, and everybody hated them for it. And they were really good at military, but then they got fucked. See, I didn't even try that. Also, I kind of ignored this. Whoops. I wonder what the Brotherhood would be if I chose it. Like, I don't know what their name would be if I did that decision. Stand there. Oh, cold water. There's another one. Took a while for you to join. Were you scared of us or something? You're like, uh, I don't know. Oh my god, I can still get a lot more now. I'm really glad how Diamond City looks now. Maybe I'll make the East Coast chapter. Nah. 
I don't want to lose too much land there. Yay. All right, let's start filling this in, even though it's not that good development-wise. I just want to fill it in because, well, I'm going to fill it in. Whoa. Gunner's Plaza. Is that 23? Yep. Oh, the NCE has joined. You know, normally this would be really scary, but in this game, this is literally the funniest thing I've ever read. Get rid of that overextension one soon. Oh. Hey, we got a decent roll this time. 424. It's not a decent roll, but compared to our 010s that we were getting forever, that's fine. Go ahead and choose enhance. Really? Mexico left the coalition. Okay, well. Thank you. Okay. Alright, well. You hear fascist what the fuck? It makes perfect sense though. They promote the Brotherhood as the best people, and they eradicate beings for being unclean or unworthy. Holy crap, the Brotherhood is the Nazi of the future. Well, that, I see, like, I think the Enclave and the Brotherhood both have Nazi qualities to them. But, I mean, really, it's not Nazi qualities, it's more authoritarian qualities, which the Nazis were authoritarian. So, I mean, the first thing that comes to people, people's mind is, you know, Nazis, but really it's just authoritarian if you want to be really broad about it. Hey, Gecko, holy crap. Cool. Where's Vault City? Did they get taken over? Like, this is Vault City, but I mean, where's Vault, like, City itself? Is this it, Vault 8? Yeah, this is it. Right? I think Vault 8's the, yeah. Vault 8's this Vault City, yeah. God, it's been so long since I played Vault 2. Oh my god. Alright. So I think I'm gonna end today's stream here. I'll be playing more of this tomorrow night, and we'll be seeing about what we can do. It looks like our run is almost over, though. I mean, well, we're at least past our halfway point. I see a, a few huge wars coming in the future, but after that, we're going to stomp out the big guys, and then we're going to control the major areas of the wasteland, and then Brotherhood will reign supreme. But yeah, so that'll be it for now. Hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. Hope to see you next time. As always, good night, and goodbye.